Jam Trader. Now the pits closed here at 2.30. It was about 10 minutes ago. So we are going to review crude oil here and Natty Gas. At the end of the video, the support and resistance levels are posted along with the EIA report for natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy Sally Stock on ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, so before we get started here in uh, regular charts, we're gonna look at a couple seasonality charts here, okay? So here is uh, crude oil, this is a seasonality chart. So this is where I usually buy, uh, right here in this level here. What I do is I buy crude oil for long, uh, gasoline, and then I buy the XLE uh, for the long term for big oil, okay? And I just run that bad boy up here all the way to the end of September. Now, but what I also do is I scalp trade the whole nine yards. So you can see here, uh, what we have here is you just have that bottom scenario, and then we run all the way up here. We get around Memorial Day here, and then we have the 4th of July, and then we have that hurricane season, which we started really early this year here, actually in June. Uh, this is really around the location that it was, it was coming in, and then we usually have a run-up right here through September, and then what I usually do at the end of September here, really the first week of October, is I short that oil rate right on down. Okay, you know, it's not going to go right straight down. You can have its ups and downs. But usually then the first week of December is then that's where you want a buying opportunity. And you run that bad boy right up here about the first week here in January. Then you sell off position because usually it's just kind of like flat line uh, after that. So check out this here. You can go to equityclock.com and you can look at anything seasonality. If you're looking at any index, if you're looking at gold, silver, oil, any kind of commodity. But right here is crude oil. So that right now this here you can have your ups and downs here, okay? But this is going to be a good buying opportunity here, I would think, here till the, at least to the end of September. And then, again, then you want to get the hell out of the trade. Uh, I usually short it. But if you say you're not a short trader, then you just sell your position and wait for the buying opportunity back in December. Okay, let's take a look here at Natty Gas. Okay, here we have natural gas seasonality chart here, okay? So this is, uh, this is usually here. You usually buy this. And we had a pretty good run. Or if, you look, if you look at the daily chart here, all the way here to June, and then we want to just sell that right on down all the way to the beginning of September. Now, again, if we have a – now, it's very hot out there. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot of states that are just, I mean, on fire. You're looking at, you know, Arizona and California and Texas. I mean, they are just burning up here. But across the country, like, I, uh, like where I live here, in uh, northern Michigan, it's, uh, you know, it's actually very, very comfortable. I mean, it's like uh, mid-70s, you know. Uh, some days you'll get like in the 90s, and then a week later you get in the 60s and stuff like this. So you don't have that consistency uh, on using the natural gas. Now, today the EIA report was a perfect example of that. Um, you know, it came in at a, a build of like 65 a billion cubic feet, and they're expecting a build of uh, 55. And the last week we had a, a build of, of only 32 billion cubic feet. So it's going in the wrong direction here. But again, it's playing out very, very nicely here if you look at the seasonality chart. Now, this is a chart that's over a 20 year period. So when you get into that June area, you just want to, you know, sell your you sell your position. But if you're a short trader, you can always do like what I do is with KOLD, great scalping in that there today. And then you can come all the way on down. However, Watch, always watch this first week of September. Then she has a nice run all the way up into December, but then you want to get the hell out of that trade or short it and get the, you know, because now you start looking into the futures and, uh, you know, they're going to be down. Okay. So you run this out on here, especially if you have a cold ass winter, this should run up here pretty nice. But really here, this gives you a good idea exactly over a 20-year period what natural gas does. Again, just go to equitytalk.com. It's always right there. You can go to my playlist. I got these uh, all posted on there for you, along with uh, candlestick patterns, uh, chart patterns. Uh, so check it out. I say, you know, if you want to get uh, so you know, completely understand what I'm what I'm talking about here. Okay, let's take a look here at the old crude and natty gas. Okay, here we have the old crude ski and old natty gas. See, this was that run right here into that June area here on the natural gas. See all like that? And then see how this has been pulling back? Now, this could pull back even farther because now, again, you're having even bigger builds here, okay? So let's just take a look here at the natural gas here first, and we'll just see what that's going on. So first of all, we had that negative divergence. That's the first kind of a tell here where you see we have a high here, and then we have an even higher high, but you had a lower high. That's negative divergence. That's the first tell. Then we had this cross, okay, when that green crosses over that, that red at the downside, that's negative. When it crosses on the upside, that's positive, okay? And then this is the kiss of death right here. When that eight day crosses that 21 day, just a matter of time before it crosses the 50 day, boom, there it does. Cross the 200 day, boom, it does. Now you're taking the price right on down. So this eight SMA here sitting at 2.37 is going to be much lower again when you when those futures open tonight at six o'clock. Now right now here we had a low today of 
of uh, 2.26. So basically what you do is just look at the chart right there on the left-hand chart, 2.26. That's the level, okay? Next one we have in charge here is going to be um, uh, basically we're going to come down here 2.24, uh, 2.21, uh, 2.167. But realistically, this is what you're looking at right here, 2.163. This is this is your, going to be your key uh, level uh, in a, a line in the sand here if we close below that 2.68 uh, level, okay? Then again, if that's lost, then we just come right to the bottom here, looking at 1.90, and then we have uh, here at uh, 1.67. Now, this is natural gas. This is the actual commodity. Now, you notice I always talk about I trade UNG. You don't really want to ch uh, chart those ETFs. Now, I do put it side by side, but if you look at it, like, say, UNG or Boyle or KOLD or any of those ETFs, these rebalance at the end of the day, okay? So they're not accurate on the charts, okay? Um, that's the thing about it. So they're, so you always want to chart, chart the actual commodity. In this case, it's natural gas. Over here, you have crude. But if you're doing like gold, okay, you can do GLD for gold. But to chart the actual gold, yeah, it's similar, but it's not exactly the same. At UNG, that one there, it deteriorates pretty good. Boyle really deteriorates right off the map because that's a leverage. That's a two-time leverage. That's why I like UNG because it's more. it's a one-to-one. -one. Uh, a leverage, but again, don't chart those. Chart the actual commodity, and then whatever the commodity is, then you watch the UNG, and that's where you take the trade from there. Or like in this case, the case today was the uh, KOLD. You had a nice good spread, 61.37 on the bottom, 63.45 on, on KOLD there today. Uh, I ended up getting uh, actually two points out of KOLD today, so I'm more than happy. I scalped it three times, but uh, first time I got a little anxious. I just wanted to get something out of there, so. Uh, two points, I'm happy with that. That was a pretty good scalp there, okay? So right now, what you do is you're watching that 2.26. If that's lost, here you go. You're just looking at that 2.16, that 100A. That's where it's going to go. Upside is is all right here at this 8 SMA here, okay? I mean, just as clear as glass. See that? 2.37. you got to get above it. If you can, if you can then you got 2.46, 2.55. 2.65. These will be lower here again. So this is going to be come down. That crosses that that 50 day. This is a total kiss of death going on right here. Okay. So this is this list looks like it's going to go sideways to to lower. Uh, that's a key. And then again, if it really just starts getting hammer time, then you're going to watch that 2.16. If that's lost, this is the target right here. And then if that's lost, you're going to go right down to this gap fill. Okay. Very very clear now. The contract roll isn't until the 28th, so you're not going to have any kind of a jump up here. You know, on the old natty gas here. Just, just, just looks very, very ugly. This is not oversold yet. This is not oversold yet. It had a little bounce here. I thought maybe you could get on up here, but it, it just went right into the eight day and then it just keep on selling right off here. So right now I have no position in natural gas. I'm not holding that overnight, but I'm just scalping the KOLD here until we can find a bottom. We're looking for a uh, bottoming candle situation. So what we're looking for, we're looking for a candle like this here that says, I'm going to go lower, and then she goes up, same way here. But you really got to close above that 8 SMA to get any kind of a juice going up. So just watch that, 2.37. Watch the downside, 2.26. If that's lost, right there's your target, 2.16. If you can get above that 8 day, you're going to 2.46. That's your 50 or 200 day, and then we have 50 day above that, 2.55, and then 2.65. Not much to say about natural gas, kind of a same old shit. Okay, here we are, crude oil. Now, you can see here we had that double top scenario. So when you see these, okay, that tells you you got to get the hell out of trade or short or whatever you got to do here, okay? So I do, I, I have a long position in crude I've had now since, you know, always right after January, I take a long position. But I also scalp this daily, okay? I scalp 5,000 shares daily, okay? So it doesn't really matter if I can get 50 cents or a buck or something like that. That's, that's good money for cash flow just in one item. Remember, I trade crude oil, natural gas, NVIDIA, Tesla, uh, TQQs, you know, a whole nine yards here. This is only one thing. So if you add it all up, you got a pretty damn good day, okay? So we had a double top situation, came down. But, you know, yesterday we had that bottomy candle. This is what we're looking for here on Natty Gas, some kind of a scenario like this after we have all them red candles, okay? So it came down, held that to uh, 21 SMA. And you held this key levels right here. This is that 81.99, that 2082. Just call that 82 level here. It closed right above. Now, today you notice that it only came down about half the candle, which is good, and it made a higher high. But look where it is, okay? See, this is why I always talk about this eight simple moving average. I know, I know, I know. It's just, it's boring. It's boring the hell out of me here, too. But there's not much I could do. I mean, I could make something up and tell you different. But reality is, is that. Frickin' eight, eight, eight day uh, simple moving average is just a pain in the old dick. Okay, but here he is, 
There he is right there. You've got to get above him and close above him. Not just pop up. You've got to close above. If we can close above that, then we just start ratcheting right up here. Okay, so then you have your 83.32. We all have uh, 83.64, 83.93. 84.38, but the target is going to be that 84.52 uh, level. That's going to be very, very key here, okay? So just like what we had here, when these levels here run, I always point out these, these price channels. I said, well, this is where it's going to go. Well, you came within $0.08. Cents. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but that's pretty damn good charting, I think, if you're coming within $0.08 cents of a high. You know what I'm saying? And then the next day it came and went $0.08 cents above it. That's pretty good charting, okay? So now, uh, if it gets above that, then we're going to come right up here. Right there to that next level, that's 85.64. And then we bring the next level here. You're looking at 86.18. But really your big target there is 87.67. So if you break that 84.52, <clears throat> this is your target that you're going to at that 87.67 because that's also that nice double top. Now you get above that, you're going to 95, okay? It's just that simple. But again, all that matters now is two things. This eight simple moving average on the upside, 82.86. You close above, you're going here. Downside, you got to hold this 21 day at 81.19. If that's lost, then here's your target at 80.49. Uh, uh, that's your 100 day. And then we're going to have a target there, 79.34. And then your 200 day, 79.18. Just that simple. So just watch that 21 day, watch that 8 day, trade this range till she breaks up or she breaks down. Just that simple. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here. Uh, Tomorrow morning here before 8 o'clock, and we will do it all over again. Now, remember, Friday, they got the rig count there at 1 o'clock. It's not really a, what you call a market mover. Uh, but again, you know, we got to see, like, that CPI report was a really good uh, uh, market mover there today. Uh, it just shook the hell out of the old NASDAQ. Right now, the uh, NASDAQ's down 340 points. Uh, Dow's up a little bit. S&P's down a little bit. But the NASDAQ just, oh, hammer time. Okay, thanks for watching.